Hello and welcome to the Curious Crow Podcast, episode 21. My name is Martin Willingham. And I'm Chris Borden. Thank you very so much for joining us uh, today. Uh, we're going to be talking about giving blood, Sydney Rutherford, uh, Black Friday deals, GTA won't work for Chris, the Mac is back, wine tasting, Vocaloid, and the fact that Chris is getting Cine World Unlimited. Yeah. And I'm probably getting rid of it. Um, Wolfenstein. Well, that's your <laughs> loss then, isn't it? <laughs> Wolfenstein, Warframe, GT Sport, Fortnite, Thor Ragnarok, Porridge. Uh, Blood, Sweat and Pixels, the Deadpool trailer, and also uh, a bagless Dyson. Uh, welcome to the... It feels like a long time since we did it, but it's not been. It's, it, well, I think it's because, obviously, we've actually done it on the day of the, the, the day of release, haven't we? Yeah, sorry, it's late. Which, which obviously, we don't we don't tend to do very often unless, you know, circumstances dictate otherwise. Which it had to this week. Well, yeah, unfortunately. Um but yeah, no, it's 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 weird because it, when when do we do it last? We did it last Sunday, not this Sunday just gone, but the was Sunday it before, wasn't Sunday it? Sunday or Monday? I don't know. It was um, one of them. Yeah, that's why we were getting confused. The reason why we were laughing about episode twenty one is because we weren't sure if it was episode twenty, episode. 21. Yeah, we had to go back and look through. Wasn't actually sure. Um, let's talk about the first thing on this here running. Go on then. Um, I gave blood on Tuesday. Oh, did you? There's no real point to this, <laughs> other than go give blood. That's the, that's the only thing. I mean, if you're squeamish, then don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're not allowed, then don't. You know, um, there are obviously things you can and can't do um, to give blood, but I did it. Um, yeah. It's been the first time in two years. I've been so crazy, ridiculous, busy that two years has passed since I last did it. Um, but next time will be my my tenth time. Oh wow! So, I don't know. I think I get a special badge or something. Do it because it's worth. You, you get a penguin at the end. I haven't seen a penguin since uh, like two thousand two. So <laughs> it, it's worth it to go get one of them at the end. And the guy, the guy who was uh, you know withdrawing my blood from me, super nice guy, really funny. And he actually I had Frankie next to me, and it was the same guy that took her blood the other week. Oh really? And she bruised up. She had a bit of a bruise. Oh. And these things happen, you know. It's not. It's not the fault of. Of of, no, of, of anyone, not. you know, taking it. It just sometimes people bruise up. So she had a bit of a bruise, and I went, oh, my girlfriend's got a bone to pick with you. you got a little bruise. And she's got a little bruise. And he went, oh, I'll try and give her a bigger one next time. I was like, that is the sense of humour that, 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 that the blood... Pe- and people appreciate. That the blood and transplant service needs. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, if you're able to, and you're fit, and you're not squeamish, and you're easy like a Sunday morning, you haven't had, like, tattoos in the last six months, or been anywhere weird, like... You know, been anything strange? Um, the, go do it. Um, else. You can. Yeah, that's probably probably counts. Um, but my point was, go visit www.blood.co.uk and you can book an appointment. Please do it. It's really good, especially Frank. For instance, Frankie is O negative. Oh, really? So she's very useful. Do you know? What? I I don't actually know my blood type. Uh, red. Huh. It's definitely red. I um, uh, see. I thought it was black. If I'm perfectly honest, clear, uh, just triple distilled. The triple um, distilled. I happen to, to be, wish. I happen to be O positive. Oh really? Yeah, which is uh, weird because you know people think, oh, it must be um, hereditary. Yeah. No, no, it's just kind of random. It's not okay. random, obviously, but it's kind of random. Um, but yeah, anyone with a positive blood group can have my blood. This is really strange to me. Oh, you're the universal one. No, Frankie is. Oh, is she? Frankie is the magic one. So anyone can have Frankie's blood, but only people with a positive gl- blood group can have mine. Okay, you're universally positive. Or universally positive. I'm nice. half. Posit- I'm I'm half half useful half useful. That's fine. Not I'm, I'm terribly the common. Half. I think. Anyway, yeah. But well, <laughs> the, do you know what the the thing is? Is obviously I'd go and give blood. I hate needles. And exactly. every, if you're and squeamish, don't do it. And every do you know what? Even if I have like a blood test or something at the doctor's, and yeah. they you know draw even a little bit, I then go, oh, okay, no, I don't feel well. Yeah, and if you're squeamish, then don't do it to yourself. It's not fair. Um, it, it, all you're going to do is cause them more trouble, cause yourself upset. You probably pass out or something like that. Something bad will happen. So, if you if you, if you're not squeamish, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't look at it going in. No. It and, and I will be honest. It's not like a comfortable experience because the whole time there's, you're you're acutely aware that there's something very sharp in your arm. Like you know, you you, you do notice. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I find I find what's kind of also horrible is when they take a little bit out of your finger. Ooh. Because of my Guinness and red meat obsession, um, they put it in a solution. It shows how much iron there is in it. It just sank like a bitch. Really? <laughs> Literally, it was like the Titanic going down. It was amazing. That's quite funny. Went, and she went, she had a timer because they have to time it how long it takes. Okay. And she started this timer and went, no, I'm not. <laughs> and she just <laughs> stopped it straight away and went, yeah, no, that's not, I don't need that. Um, so, yeah, um, blood.co.uk, if you can. If you can't, don't feel guilty. 
you just can't. Become a do- become an organ donor. That's what I'd say. Because when you're dead, you're not going to care, are you? Mm, true, but then again, I don't think any of my organs are going to be very useful. I know a couple of mine will be pretty useless, but uh, yeah, um, I'm an organ donor. Ca- hey. Card-carrying organ donor. So, uh, you know, if I pop my clogs and you need a kidney, you know where to go. Actually, mate, if I could steal a kidney, I really need to sell it on the black market. Still alive. I could do with that 60 grand, mate. I am still alive. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, but I, mate, I need 60 grand. Come I on, help, uh, help a brother what out. What are you going to do, auction it on eBay? No, black market, mate. Black market. Black market, yeah. The, well, g- have you seen where I live? That's it's true. like the bloody black market around here all the time anyway. <laughs> you know, down the down the back alley, I swear there's people sm- selling meth or something. They're just exchanging talcum powder and little bags. The, it's, just, it's just to fool each other. And they're sat there giggling to themselves. Going, <laughs> They've just had talcum powder. Now let's go do the cocaine that they just gave me, which coincidentally tastes a lot like talcum powder. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, oh, <laughs> that's how it rolls around here. But yeah, anyway, yeah, my, 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 I, there's no funny story, not really. Um, I mean, some would argue that what I said about Frankie was funny, but it's not really funny. No, no there's no funny. There's no entertainment here. I just want to say, go and do it. That's it. He's getting his message out. Blood.co.uk. He, go, go do it. He gives blood. He's an organ donor. He's just like Jesus. I am like Jesus in many ways, except I won't come back after I've popped my clocks. Then let's get ready. What? Yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go. Now you know you can be safe. Um, <laughs> now, you have something written on the running order that's that's perplexing. Do Sydney I? Sydney Rutherford. Yes, indeed. Why do you want to talk about Sydney Rutherford? Because she is a singer, songwriter. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, at one point, did West End Stage with her. Yes. Uh, she was either in my group or in one of the kind of neighbouring groups. Yes. Uh and if for those that don't know what uh, West End Stage is, it's basically like a summer school for theatre kids. And it's yeah. great. You you go and perform at Her Majesty's Theatre. It's wonderful. It runs over a month. Each each group, I think, has like something like 250 people, maybe yes. more. And they're all split into different age groups and all the rest of it. You get given different shows to do. It's great. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's where I met Sydney. Um, and recently... Uh, for those who do follow us on Instagram, they'll have noticed that I gave her a shout out for her new album, Heat, yes. uh, which is actually available on iTunes, on uh, Spotify. Spotify, that's the one. I've completely forgot where I was for a second. Um, yeah, and it is a, they're great albums. And there's also another one that I, I quite, I'm quite partial to listening to at the moment. It's called uh, Not Today, Satan. Uh. And I like it. It's really, really, it's really good. Now, the reason I feigned perplexness yes. of reading this is because I'm pretending not to know who Sydney Rutherford is but you played me some of her music before the show yeah. and obviously I've listened to it for a limited time I like it yeah mate I like it I think I think I need to do some more research I think you do but basically she's uh, I think the last time I saw anything posted from her personally she was on her way to LA or she was doing gigs in LA wow and that is re- that's really really cool and, uh, and obviously she gave us a like and a follow so we returned suit and uh, as, as I, we do, I had a little chat to her, and it was yeah, no, it was just really, really nice. Um, and it's it's really strange because her, like at the moment, from the one song that I played you, who was it you said she sounded like? Kate Nash, Lily Annany. Yeah, do you think a little bit? I uh, ca- I, I think I think she carves her own thing. But oh yeah, definitely. That's been inspiration taken. I think. Well, it's it's nice because she's you know is her music's really good, and obviously I. Th- Oh, they're all original songs as well, which is something I'd really like. Yeah. Um, the one I showed you actually, which uh, tickles me a little bit, just because some of the some of it's quite funny and some of it's very relatable. Yeah. Um, it's called "Don't Swipe Ripe." Yes, and it makes the ma- song you play me. Yeah, and it makes me giggle a little bit. Um, but it's the music is as on her albums are fantastic. Like I've listened to both of them now. Um. Or probably you know, this is kind of like a mini shout out on its own, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but no, she's doing fantastic work. Uh, Chris, you didn't say shout out properly. Did I not? You shout out to the massive. So you got to do it. No, because <laughs> I am not gangster or street well. enough. Um, I'm so street. I'm cold as heck. There's not something to be proud of. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. And people go, do you live down a cul-de-sac? I actually did live down a cul-de-sac. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> well, this is the thing. You know, she's doing some great stuff. Oh, hang on, I still live I down a bloody cul-de-sac. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> Mate, you can't get away. But, uh, There's only no, one way out of the ghetto, <laughs> just like a cul-de-sac. <laughs> well, yeah, no, she's got some great music. So if you get a chance, type in Not Today Satan or Heat, all in capitals. Sydney Rutherford, uh, 
brilliant music. So, yeah. you, we'll throw a link in the description. Yes, yes, we will. We'll make a note to put a link in. There you go. Put link. Cool. Um, so, yeah, she's cool, man. Yeah, man. I like her stuff. Um, speaking of potentially purchasing things. Yes. Well, let me tell you about some Black Friday deals. Because as we release this, it will be Black Friday. Oh, do you have to? Tomorrow. Uh, do, briefly. Do, do it's not, this isn't going to take long. Good. Just because looking at my bank account <coughs> currently, yes. and knowing that it's Black Friday tomorrow, it makes me very sad. Right. Because I can't buy shit. I, I get another swing in it because I get Prime Day in June. <laughs> It's good, man. Um, but yeah, um, for th- for those who aren't like us and are out of money, yeah. um, let's talk about some of the deals you can get. Um, if you want the Echo Dot, which has Alexa, it's the little smart speaker thing. Yes. Um, you can get that on Amazon uh, and in Curry's, I think, as well, for thirty five ninety nine. I think it's thirty four ninety nine actually. Okay. Um, and uh, for an extra tenner, you can get it with a smart plug, which you can oh, yeah. control bit via your voice. Now I've got um one. Um, you do. It's usefulness in the UK. I think it's probably more useful in America, but it's getting there. Um, and it's a cool thing to have, mainly just to play Spotify on. Um, and I use it as well to like remember my shopping list. So when I think of things that need to go on the shopping list, um, I can order stuff for it as well. But that's a bit of a bit of a thing. But for thirty five quid, yeah, it's worth a go. But if you don't want to try Alexa, you can try the Google Assistant, the Google Home, which is pretty much well, the Google Home Mini. Yeah. Um, which why do I keep picking this jack up? Leave it alone, Wilbo. Um, it, it it's got the Google Assistant built in, so you might have tried it on your Android phones or whatever. Um, and that's thirty four ninety nine. Oh, okay. And that's at Curry's at the minute. You can get that. Uh, twelve months of PS Plus is thirty seven pound forty nine on Amazon. That's oh. eighteen pounds forty six cheaper oh. than it normally is. Um, Xbox One S bundles. If you want to get an Xbox One S, hundred ninety nine pounds for lots of different bundles. But the one I picked out includes the Forza Horizon Hot Wheels pack and Forza does. Horizon Three and Battlefront Two for one nine nine. And that's an Amazon. Battlefront Two. Battlefront. Battlefront Two. Yeah, for one nine nine. Oh, not a bad deal. Um, okay. uh, I've got another list. There's a GameSpot article, which we'll um, probably li- link down in the description. Overwatch Game of the Year edition. A lots of places is twenty five pounds. Amazon's got a um, a one terabyte PS4 deal, um, which is a good deal. Um, <laughs> Grand Theft Sports on sale on a lot of places. If you're a gamer, um, there's lots of stuff. I mean, uh, the other Xbox One bundles is another bundle that features FIFA 18 plus mm-hmm. Middle Earth. Shadow Middle of Earth. War or Middle Minecraft Earth, yeah, for two hundred. I to be fair, I'd I'd go for the uh Middle Earth one. Yeah? Yeah. Is that your laptop? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> it's my laptop. Yeah. What are you doing that for? <laughs> um it, no, what happened was um you know when you load up a web page yeah. and you have ads that roll oh, without your permission. Yeah. It was one of them. Oh, so okay. yeah, lots of good Black Friday deals. Um and so we won't harp on about it too much because you, you got you know, I'm sure you can spot them for yourself. Um but there are good deals on PlayStation VR as well, if you want that. Um, you know, I would say if you have an Amazon Prime membership and you've got the funds, go crazy. <laughs> There's lots of good <laughs> stuff on there today. Um, you're struggling with GTA. Yes, I am. And do you know what? It's a royal pain in my ass because I've been sat there. <clears throat> like I'll go to work or something. I'll have uh, loaded GTA up beforehand. Um, and I'll put my I'll put my PlayStation Four in into rest. As you do. And no one turns that shit off. They just put it into rest. Well, no, exactly. And by default, that should have installed it, right? Uh, I believe so, yeah. It's now been three weeks since my purchase. Right. And do you know what? It still hasn't downloaded. It still hasn't installed. Like, the, all the files and everything, they've downloaded from the disk. The uh-huh. updates have all downloaded. It's all good. It's ready to go. But it won't install which I don't know if you remember because it must have been so long ago for you when you had to install GTA. It does need a little bit of time. It yeah. does, yeah. But three weeks is a bit much to reach 3%. Yeah, Um. where did you get your disc from? The the sex. Sex. As they, well, I'm going to call them CEX. I no, I don't, I don't like calling them sex um, either. <laughs> you just take it back, mate. 24-month warranty. And it was I tried. Oh, did they say no? They turned around and said the disc is too scratched. They're not meant to take those discs. So you 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 sold it to me. Yeah, exactly. And I yeah, still have the label on. Yeah, I've got the receipt. And just insist. Oh, I I have. And they were like, "No, I'm really sorry. You're gonna have to maybe contact head office." So that's what I'm gonna do. 
But then what well, does just take it back to a different store? Yeah. Just try well, a different place. Well, what doesn't help as well, which is is kind of annoying, is I try to get in, into support. I try to get into Rockstar support, right. email, Twitter, these kind of things. And do you know what? They've ignored me completely over three weeks. They've just gone. Nah, <laughs> that's and, unfortunate. Uh, and I'm just sat there going, please, I want to play your game, please. Yeah, uh, I actually, I mi- I miss GTA because obviously, um, I don't play it on the Xbox 360 anymore because it's actually kind of pointless. Um, yeah, considering it hasn't that updates in a while, has it? No, exactly. So essentially, you see all these other videos of you know things going on, whether it's PC or console versions, and. I'm sat there going, oh, look at all the stuff I'm missing out on. And yeah. it was one of the games that I was really looking forward to playing when I got my PlayStation 4. Yeah. And it just decided, nah, I don't, I don't want to do it. I'm just like, huh. why? Come um, on. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to... I like CEX. Yes. Those fuckers should give you a new disc. Yeah, they really should. I'm sorry, that's bullshit. Yeah, mate. Well, it also doesn't... Like, because, well, because when I did tweet to Rockstar support as well, and Rockstar... Not just their support. Yeah, I said to them, "Is there? Uh, does anyone know why I can't install it, or why it's taking so long to install?" Yeah. Bearing in mind this was two weeks ago. Yeah, and they ignore me. But someone else commented saying, "You won't hear anything back, mate. They're a bunch of wankers." Uh, and I'm just like, I'm I'm slightly starting to agree with them. Yeah, I, I always find it unfortunate when companies don't really offer support. This is the problem I had with Vodafone. And yeah, BT actually mended their ways but I had a problem yeah, with eventually. Vodafone um, I just hate when because Vodafone's solution was go on the forums which wasn't yeah. good enough for me because no. I had a problem with a thing I think it's worth not responding but oh, yeah. here's the thing Rockstar can totally get away with it because yeah they can you want to play their game yeah precisely they've got you and, uh, th- but speaking of like game support and stuff obviously it's uh, if, if you're a gamer and you're into your star and you know Star Wars and stuff yeah obviously Battlefront 2 E- yeah. EA released a, a, a yeah a news press release a uh, week ago I think yeah or a few days ago anyway um stating that they were going to turn off the online like selling of certain things or the online buying of certain in things in Battlefront Two in Battlefront Two so that because obviously people were saying you know ah oh, that gives other people with money unfair advantages which I'm all for I'm I'm very much thinking do you know what yeah I'm glad they've turned it off. You know, the thing with that is, I think it's a very complicated issue. I think, and and this is going to be praising one of our favourite games again. Yeah. The way Overwatch has done it is legit, okay? You can earn the loot boxes. They are non-functional. They don't do anything. They don't They don't improve stats. They don't give you something that's otherwise unlocked behind, uh, that's otherwise locked. You can still get that stuff. It is still possible and just as plausible to play the game, earn loot boxes, and get the stuff. Yeah. I have personally never spent a penny on a loot box in that game. No. I, do you know what? I don't think I would either. But it seems to me like this is a different scenario. It might be. But then again, you've also got to think, because obviously they've... EA have turned around and gone, okay, do you know what? We've heard what you're saying. We're going to turn it off. I but, think but for how long that's going to be, we don't know. I think they need to fix it. Well, I... Do you know what? I think they should just get rid of it altogether. But bear there will, we've also got to bear in mind, as you know, the market that they're selling to. By doing so, they are losing out on so much revenue. They yeah. are missing out on a lot of money because, unfortunately, as it seems to be the standard these days, um, micro transactions in games are very, 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 very prominent. Yeah, they and, be, they uh, become more of a thing. I mean, oh, even God, yeah. Forza Seven. Yeah, it has micro. I mean, it's it's easier on it than it used to be. Um, what I'm just curious to see. What do you think of that anyway? The whole loot box g- kind of gambling mechanic uh, thing. Uh, there. Do you know what I think? Uh, this is the bit I don't get. Is in from my perspective, loot boxes and things like that, not gambling. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, mine. Guess what? I got this loot box earlier. Do you want it? But I'll trade you for it, right? Because I'm not obsessed with trying to get them, and I'm not ex- I'm not obsessed with trying to swap them and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just oof, itchy right nose, <laughs> um, <laughs> itchy navel cavity. Um, but yeah, no, they it's it, it got it's it's got to a point now where 
I'm going, okay, cool. I've got a loot box. Let's open it up. And that's it. Yeah, you're so, like me. So why... I'm, I'm assuming you've read more into it than I have, but why are people saying it's gambling? Because I'm, I'm not clear on that. I think... <laughs> The reason why people would say it's gambling is because there is a element of uncertainty. Okay. What you're effectively doing is, and this is the argument. I'm not saying this is what yeah. I think. I'll tell you what I think in a minute. But the argument is you're putting money in um, and you're not knowing what you're getting. True. How is that different to a slot machine? How is okay. that different to... Anything like that. Right. I mean, admittedly, you will get something in exchange for it. Yeah. But it is an argument of gambling. And it's big on Reddit at the minute. I mean, I... Yeah. I Well, well this is the thing, because I, I didn't realise that's what they meant by gambling. Um, because I was I was going off the proviso that very few people would put out money to buy them. But obviously... I think the amount of people that do is surprisingly high. Yeah, that that's that's just it. Because I didn't... Because I, I thought there people were more like myself and you yeah and in the fact that you know oh yeah we've got loot boxes we'll earn them through gameplay cool and we'll go from there didn't realize that the number of like people actually buying out and putting out actual money was that big of a thing because i didn't realize it become such a problem until i can't remember who it was as a country that has decided that they want to ban loot boxes completely. Well, it actually got brought up in UK Parliament. Oh, did it? Um, yeah. I think if you look at mobile games, yeah, okay, because that is that is r- rampant with this stuff. Oh, isn't it just? Um, if buying something unlocks content of the game, there, there has to be a fundamental question. Could you get that content just by playing the game. Now, if the answer is like Overwatch, yes, then great. If, yeah. If the if it's more like what this sounds like, and this sounds to me like, I mean, our, our buddy Turkey plays Battlefront Two, and he yeah, says he, he hasn't had a problem. Don't with you it. mean Battlefield One? The Battlefront Two. He's got it. Oh, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Sorry, I thought you were referring to. Uh, Battlefield. No, Carry he, on. He, he plays it, right? Oh. And he says he hasn't had a problem with it. Okay. Um, but then again, he plays it a lot. Now, there are going to be people who think, I'll just pay for this. And that is, let's be honest, the thrill of maybe getting all, getting what you want or maybe not getting what you want. Yeah. That thrill is... A, it's it's it, you can understand the argument for gambling. Yeah, no, I can. I know it, it, now that we've spoken about it, it kind of makes more sense the in only, my head. The only thing I feel with regards to that is that it, <laughs> it's a complicated one because AAA game development. Yes, these companies are having to expect players to not only play it but keep playing it. Yeah. So I think. What's happening is they're going, okay, this costs so much money to make, we have to make it back. We have to make that money back. We have to get our money's worth development-wise out of this game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, th- this is the thing. I Because I, obviously, I'm, I'm back in my day, um, you know, when games and things were kind of... It was becoming more of a thing. Obviously... The transactions and stuff never used to really exist, unless it was an online game or on the PC kind of thing. Yeah. Um. And I remember I was they spending were pretty shady. Yeah. Oh yeah. But then I remember having to sink in hours and hours and hours of gameplay to unlock certain things. I kind of miss that element. I I think there's a slight. It's slightly spoiled by people being able to go. Oh, do you know what? I have some more money than those peasants over there. I'm going to buy the newest thing. No, ah, yeah. Not everyone's like that, obviously, but it's it's still a factor, I think. I but, mean, well, that's my personal opinion on it, it. I think if you were to ask any mobile developer, for instance, yeah, they would tell you that only a certain amount of people are going to actually pay that money. But it's clearly enough for them to warrant it. I I like the Overwatch approach. That that yeah. to me is fine because. It's content that you could otherwise have. Very much so. You just you just earn it. Whereas with um 
with with this it doesn't it doesn't seem like that at all no it really it really doesn't and in the long run it's kind of made more awkward by you know if people do have more money then obviously they're able to buy the n- newer things but i like that i do i do agree with the fact that you know overwatch have gone about it a quite a nice way i mean even people are grumbling about that oh yeah of course they are um of course they are and also um the player one podcast often have discussions about this give them a listen by the way player one podcast they're really good um they often have discussions about this um they're a bunch of like ex-game journos um oh, really? so they often talk about this sort of stuff you know game being industry business okay stuff. um but i think if you pay money for something yeah let's say you go down the shop and you buy a mars bar yeah you own that mars bar it's tangible it's real you're gonna eat it no, no, no. you're gonna consume it paying for something that you don't know what it is yeah i just i personally would never do it but there are people out there who you know could arguably just be described as vulnerable yeah i suppose so um that makes more sense this you know what's weird about this conversation is it's, it's lasted quite a long time it has hasn't but it? it wasn't on the running order it wasn't. I've seen that you've added it, kind of added it in. I have because I obviously I write the description for the video um, and for the podcast. Well, so yeah. I want to write this in. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you want to spend money doing that stuff, yeah, I would say you it's your right to do that. But please make sure you're responsible. And if you're under eighteen, it's not your money. No. Or if it is your money, be careful because you're going to need that money yeah. in the future. Um. And I feel like it's not worth spending on a video game. Now, the reason I'm not playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 is because the first one was fine and all, just not that into it. Yeah. That and this. Because I do not have the time to grind for 40 hours to play as Luke Skywalker, <laughs> which is ultimately what anyone ever wants to do. But in the same breath... No, I'm mate, also it's all about Darth Vader, isn't it? Well, or whatever, you know. But in the same breath, I'm also not going to spend my hard-earned money... And think about money like this. You exchange hours of your life for cash. You will never get those hours of your life back. Very true. So whenever I make an investment in something, I need to be sure that I'm going to get my worth out of it. I'm yeah. going to enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy it, guess what? It goes. <laughs> Standard. Yeah. Um, should we move on? Yeah, let's. Because otherwise we, other, we could be here talking about this all day. Speaking of pointless drains of money. <laughs> I <laughs> Yeah. I spoke about it last week, how my MacBook's keyboard died. Um, I, I must be... I'll be honest. Um, I took it to an Apple store. Yep. And they said, we're going to have to take it and do a quote. They said, it'll be three to five days. Five days rolled around. I get a phone call. Yeah. This woman spoke to me, who had the most amazing voice. Oh, really? Like, like a, a really good, clear sort of radio voice. Um and she was amazing. Like she was genuinely it sounded great. But she said, "Oh, your Mac um, it is just the top case part, which is what we thought it would be." Um, and we've done it. Oh, okay. And I was thinking, what if I turned around and said no? Yeah. What if I got actually no? I found it cheaper somewhere else. Would they have had to put the old broken part back on? Maybe, but uh, nah. Do you know what? I, I don't reckon they would actually, because no, obviously, you, obviously. Yours isn't the oldest model going, but but no, by it's, it's, by it's 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 an older vintage. Yeah, basically. Or as it, the woman said, that beast, that beast. Um, but yeah, in, in all, it cost me two hundred and eighty something pounds. Oh dear, to fix it. Um, but <sighs> I'm delighted to have it back. Whilst I was without it, yeah. I realised something. Oh, I'm no longer an Apple whore. That's no. that's the case, you know. I, I don't Good. I, I don't leap out and buy the latest thing. I'm not worried about the iPhone X or even the iPhone Eight. I don't really care. I might just go sim only and carry yeah. on with my six S for a while. It's fine. But a Mac, I kind of need one. Yeah. Not like need need. Everything I do on it, I could probably do on the PC. Okay. But I'm so used to using it. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm equally good on Windows. Like I would say, I'm equally good on either. But you know, when you're just used to something. Yeah. And you don't want to change that. I was forced to change it. And I missed the hell out of it. Aww. 
which means when that when it does die, do you know how much? Right, bear in mind this is a 2012 model. Yeah. Obviously, everything is going to be a little bit better. Would you like to know what the sort of equivalent model would cost today? Around two grand. Around two thousand pounds for a laptop. This is a pissing laptop, not a car. Luckily, huh. you can get more finance. So I suppose that's a deal. Yeah. Um, I suppose so. You've been, uh, you've been, you've been on the booze, Chris. I have been, as it happens. Um, Tuesday uh, was the start of a of a good day. Oh uh, yeah! I, I, Did you wake I, up, have a glass of wine? <laughs> oh yeah, I wish. That's no. the way to do it. No, the way I worked it was uh, I, I had a few things to do during the day that didn't really stop moving. Um, but it was good. It was nice. I had a really good time. Yeah. Um, and then our friend Hannah had invited me for a wine tasting evening. Ooh, brave. Um, so I that went. That was over. my fucking invite. I don't know, mate. <laughs> what day was it? Thursday. I was working. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. Uh, I went over and I was thinking, yeah, oh, do you know what? It, I won't lie. I thought it was going to be. Do you know what? Yeah, they'll have a couple of bottles there. They're all going to try different di- different vintages and stuff, different uh, either white, red, rosé, whatever. But no, it was a man with two boxes filled with alcohol. And they uh-huh. were big boxes. I'm talking kind of, you know, about you know, the size of a kid's bike. She didn't each drive box. it, did she? Who? Hannah. No, it was done at her girlfriend's flat. Oh, it was a home visit, which was even nicer. Wow, he can get just smashed at your house. Exactly. And uh, anyway, we he gave us a sheet each uh, to fill out so we could score these things. We could see what we were tasting, score them, how much the alcohol content was. I think the first one was 13.5. So it was all right for a wine. Yeah. Um, and then he, he, he surprised us a little bit, actually, because he, afterwards, after we'd finished with the wine, he turned around and went... Yeah, guess guess uh, is anyone here a um, a sherry lover? Yeah. And the girls kind of looked at each other and went, uh, "Not really." Oh, sherry. And I went, and I went, "I'll have one." Yeah, I like sherry. Thinking I'll have a sherry. The first one I tried was a port sherry. Oh, bloody lovely! And it was quite nice, but it was strong, a bit too strong for me. Oh, baby. Um, the next one I tried was a Christmas pudding flavored one. Oh, nice. How Which is very nice, actually. I quite like that one. But everyone's favourite, because the girls tried this one, was the Black Forest Gatto liqueur. Mm. I think it was a sherry. I'm not sure. Um, but it was it would, it was very tasty. I'd have it on my cornflakes. Wow. Genuinely, that's how nice it was. So and I could have port on my cornflakes and I'd be quite happy. Maybe we should just have a boozy a breakfast, Chris. A boozy breakfast. Brilliant. A oh, birthday's coming up uh, next weekend. We'll just do it then. Yeah, and then mine's the month after. Just get absolutely ratted. <laughs> what, for a month? It, right, I want your opinion on wine tasting. Go on. Okay. Is it complete bollocks? No, not in the slightest. Do you not think so? No, not in the slightest. It blows people like, you know, oh, there, there's some pretension there doing this, that, and the other. But there isn't. It's, it's, it's it depends where, how, much, how seriously you take it. I mean, when myself, Hannah, April, and Becky did it, we weren't, Taking the mick, well, we weren't taking the mick, but we also weren't treating it like it was the most serious thing in the world. You were we were just having a laugh, drinking wine, yeah, and going. But I like this one. I don't like. Well, this one. that's the thing because they they took the mick out of me a little bit because my parents both have uh, been wine tasting because it was a gift, yeah. Um, and obviously, when when you're wine tasting, you have to swallow the glass, take a sniff, and then you obviously take a sip, and it, they're only little little um tries that you get, yeah. And Shot uh, of wine. so I, I kind of had a sip, and this you've got to do the thing of swirling it around your mouth as well, so you yeah. get the flavours. Yeah. But then you've also got to do the thing where it's it, the way he described it was backwards whistling, with the liquid in your mouth, and you go. Okay. And I did that. I did that without him anyone prompting, and the three girls looked at me. What are you doing? And I went, well, That's how you do it. And I, I kind of got a little bit sheepish about it. I was like. Mm-hmm. And um, the girls just kind of looked at me and went, what are you doing? He goes, no, that's how you do wine tasting. That's how you're meant to do it properly. <laughs> was, was the guy being pretentious or was he just like... No, he he was really down to earth so bloke. It was really nice. The thing about wine tasting, according to some research, is that whilst it's, it's like a valid thing to do, to see what wines you like, but the, the, much the so. pretentiousness around it turns I, out to be a bit bullshit. Well, I, dep- I think it depends on who does it. Because and also, because here's the thing, it's an opinion. It's all subjective. 
Yeah, I no, I get where you're coming from, but in the same breath, it's like us giving opinions on games. We're just two assholes with opinions, and everyone's it's, got an opinion. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, some people just shouldn't voice them. Did you know uh, all human beings start in the womb from the asshole and work out? I told my mum and dad this earlier. We were all started off as assholes. Well, you maintained it, mate. Um, There's the gag. There it is. We. But yeah, um, I, 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 I did port tasting. Yeah, you did. And you've been pretentious about that ever since. No, no. I, I buy the cheapest fucking bottle of port <laughs> in Tesco. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not even joking. I will go I know Tesco you do. and I'll buy the cheapest bottle, which is still like eight quid. It's um, probably because, not being funny, man, there isn't much choice available. There isn't much choice available. I don't give a shit. I will drink cheap port. And I'll drink, you know, I'll drink cheap red, cheap white. I'll also drink expensive stuff. I know exactly what I'm getting you for your birthday. What, port? No. Nah. Uh-huh. I'm going to get you a port bottle with some black currant and some vinegar in it. Because a lot of cheap port tastes that way. Do you think? Yeah, mate, it's disgusting. See, no, but I, I just, I just drink it, man. I don't like vinegar. Oh uh, well, you're gonna hate red, your birthday red, present then. Red wine gives me heartburn, man. Really, oh normal red wine. Port's fine. Red wine gives me proper heartburn. Sherry's good as well. I was a glass of sherry. Um, yeah. Well, no, I honestly, I think it depends on the person who's doing the wine tasting. If you just like if you like wine and it's just something interesting for you, then do it. Yeah. But if you're going to be a pompous asshole about it by going, uh, you know, do mm, one. Um, yes, yeah, no, I know, I know this. Uh, this vintage is blah, blah, blah. no one cares. Like no one cares, yeah. except if they're the people who are you know conducting the wine tasting. Then yeah, they they got to know this stuff. Doesn't yeah. make them pretentious either. No, because it, it you Knowing know especially from and explaining it's a different thing. To exactly. Them, you know, I, d- I see those people who. It always makes me laugh. They just give it a swirl and they give it a taste. It might even be cheap wine. Probably yeah. like the second cheapest. That's what everyone goes for. They go, oh, yes, it's fruity. Of course it's fucking fruity. It's got grapes in it. It's yeah, but then made it of grapes. Well, to be fair, there was a red wine that we had that was quite peppery. Peppery. Yeah, it tasted a little bit peppery. Hmm. Should we stop talking about booze before I need to go down the pub? I think we should, yeah. So let's but talk about something else fucking Yeah, definitely. Weird. Um... <laughs> The censorship on this podcast has gone way downhill. Of course it has. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, Vocaloid. Yes. Right. Um, Chris, I need you to do a bit of role play for me in a minute. Okay. I showed you this stuff earlier. But we need you to, did. We need to pretend that I didn't. Just for this little thing. Okay. Chris, have you ever heard of an artist called Natsumi Miku? Or Hatsumi Miku? No, I have not, Martin. Oh, well, it's weird Japanese pop. Have a listen. Simulate listening. Do you notice anything weird with that? Yes, ever so slightly, but I can't put my finger on it. Hatsumi Miku is not a real person. <gasps> no. Not even a ghost singer. <sighs> this is a mate. We need to get a fucking... What? This is like a... This Radio Today <laughs> should give us an award for best podcast 20, 2018. Because <laughs> uh, 2017 is gone. Um, yeah, so um, this guy called Rumi Official is his name on YouTube. Yeah. Go check him out. He's an amazing singer. R- really shit hot. Amazing. So good. Um and he did an experiment with a piece of software called Vocaloid, which is like a voice synthesizer. Um, it's <sighs> Will us humans ever survive if computers are going to learn how to sing and stuff? Probably not, but we'll be dead way before that happens, so it's all right. Good. Um, it's like Terminator Future, where they're all singing at us. Um, oh, God, can you imagine? It'll be like High School Musical for the robots. <laughs> <laughs> um, go check out the video on Vocaloid, it'll be in the description. Well worth a listen because he actually learned, he'll like sing a line and then the computer will sing a line and you get to hear. But some of it, especially the Japanese language stuff, is bloody convincing. Like, well, it's close, man. What was that I said to you when you played it to me? I said it sounds like the start of an anime. Yeah. Because obviously... Japanese pop, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, that's the thing. Obviously, a lot of animes, there are... There are some uh, catchy tunes. I won't lie. Obviously, I can't understand them because I don't speak Japanese. Yeah. But you know, there's there's lots out there that are really catchy and it's really good. And um, yeah, they just I don't know. It's it's it it sounded like it was the start of an anime. Okay, should we use it as the start of our anime? Sonic the Hedgehog's my favorite anime. <laughs> um, of course it is. It's a broken old meme that. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to point it out. Go check it out. We haven't got a great deal of time. I've got like 20 minutes, so we'll, we'll we'll blast through this a little bit. Chris, you're about yes. to potentially change my mind. Yes, I am. 
if I may for a second. Yes. I've been a Cine World Unlimited customer now for a very long time. You have, since the womb. You need to... <laughs> that's why I've got the black membership card. Yeah, exactly, since um, the womb. And you're old. What happened was, my parents got it for me one year and they went, this is a Christmas present. Yeah. And then when it came up for renewal, I just, I just you know, neglected to mention it. I was like, fuck it, they'll never notice. And they didn't. Mum noticed. So I'm going to have to start <laughs> paying for it. Um, you're going to get it. I am, yeah. Can you convince me to keep it? I will do my best. Basically, the reason I'm getting it yeah. is because, honestly, I am sick and tired of having to pay, you know, 12 quid a pop every time I want to go to the cinema. Especially right, yeah. when, you know, despite having a job, I am still young and the money disappears like that. Yeah, of course. It goes. And it gets to t- towards the end of the month, like now, and I'm sat there going, oh, there's a really good film out. I can't go see it. Why right. I, I can't go see it? I can't afford to. Yeah. So I would rather pay £18 a month yep. to get an unlimited card and pay for that myself so I can go and see the cinema, go to the cinema and see whatever I want any time I want. You know, the thing as often is, as I want. <laughs> it means you need to go to the cinema like three times a month. Mate, I plan on going at least eight. Should we, do, should we do a cinema club? I think we should. If yeah, we do well. a cinema club, I'll keep it. I'll tell you what. I'll keep it for another month. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I think you may have convinced me. Um, well, th- well, this is the thing. I mean, obviously, we both love our films. We and, do. And the amount of times you've turned to me and gone, Chris, do you want to go see this? And I go, mate, I can't. I've not got the cash. I've yeah. not got the funds. And you've gone, damn, okay. Well, well, we'll do something else instead. And we're both, um, like, let's not pretend and let's not beat around the bush. We're both gutted every time we can't go see a good film. A film that looks good and yeah. we want to see it. And we can then, you know, watch it in the cinema. Because obviously going to the cinema as well is great. It's great, great evening. And it's also, if you've During got, the, day, if you've got the Cine World Unlimited, it's like a like a free trip. It doesn't cost you anything. Exactly. But it's already cost you. you well, know. Exactly. But then again, I'd rather, as I said, I'd rather pay £18 a month. Yeah. And be able to... Again, go and see whatever film I want whenever I want. Yeah. Then having to pay out the bum for it because at the moment, while I appreciate the cinema, that's what's happening. Is uh, but going to see a film in a proper cinema, whether it's Odeon, whether it's Cineworld, whether it's whatever, is so expensive. I'd ra- I'd rather have that little piece of plastic that cost me eighteen pound a month to say, "Yep, do you know what? You can go and see this film. Yeah. Go in, enjoy it, and I will because I mean, I, when I first get it." If there are a couple of films out that I still want to see, yeah, which I'm assuming will still be in the cinemas at the time, yeah, I will probably go and see them all in the space of a week, if I'm honest. Right. The yeah. cine the, the cine world near us will be sick and tired of me by the time ne- the end of next month ro- rocks around. Just say mine goes out of date. Okay. I don't know if it's done. Um, it's a roll into a month thing. I'm not sure. Oh. Um. All right, I'll keep it. We'll see how it goes. Can we breeze through this last bit? Because yeah. a lot of it, uh, for instance, I played Wolfenstein this week. Yeah. I'm getting to the the good bit. Okay. okay. And it's all good, but this is the good bit, which means for that precise reason, I'm not going to talk about it because there are some interesting little plot twists. Yeah. and Spoilers. Might, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. But I will say this. Chris, you played the first one. You liked Indeed. it. Indeed, yes. Yes, I did. When you get a chance, play this game. I, I will do. I'm sure when I I'm will done do. with it, you'll borrow it off me. Probably. Play this game. Play this game. Play this game. Play this game. Is that on <laughs> Switch as well at some point? Oh, that's cool. You could take Nazi killing on the road. Ha. Huh. Uh, there's something else that you've done again? Yeah, no, another one that I've done again. Warframe. I did mention it last week. Space Ninjas. Um, Space I've, Ninjas, yeah. I've put in some serious time on that thing now. Yeah. Also, because there are microtransactions in that, but I've done this without spending a penny. Good job. And I'm you mean you've done it without having a piss? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was awful. No, it awful. was a, uh, no, I've I've got I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting pretty far with the game. I'm learning new things as I go. Yeah. And bearing in mind I had it on Steam before, half the stuff I probably should have listened to and understood better mm. when I first played it. Yeah. I'm now learning. So uh-huh. you know, just one of those things. But yeah, Warframe. Play it. It's free. I had it when it was new. Maybe I should go and do it again. Well, it's their full year. It was their full year anniversary last week. Oh, cool! Yeah, mate, it's good. And it was one of the very few games out when PS4 first yeah, hit the block. Um, speaking of things we've done again, I played GC Sport, but this time you streamed it. I streamed it, and I'll be continuing to do that. Um, I hope you like it. Go and check it out. It is literally the video is just me 
babbling for fucking hour. Well, it's an hour or well, half an hour, I think it is. About 45 minutes. <laughs> it's just me babbling about GT Sport. Cars. Um, and, and hopefully I'm being mildly amusing at the same time. And if cars aren't really your thing, then I'm sure I'll be doing a couple of streams on the channel as well at some point. Yes, indeed. Let's um, talk about something you've done again. Yeah, well, yes. Again, uh, again. Uh, again, again. Uh, Fortnite, it's not something I've really done because I actually haven't played it since the update, but that's what's new. Uh, Fortnite Battle Royale has received an update where it's a silenced, a silenced SMG, so a, uh, a small little uh, machine gun. Um and Let's yeah, play that again ever since we did Oh yeah, stream. definitely. Well, do you know what? I think honestly, I think we should do a cart record, yeah. even if we're in separate houses, play online. And uh, I've, I've got the chat link cable now. I oh, do. We you? can do that. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm I'm happy to do that. Um, Let's so get it on, man. Yeah, man. We'll 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 sort it. We'll do it at some you point. Free tomorrow. Yes, as it happens. Holy moly! Well, I know, right? Did you do this thing? That'd be cool. Um, I don't know if I spoke about it last week. Did I speak about Thor last week? Don't Did think so. I, I think you said you were going to see it. But I saw Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Again, it's much like the Wolfenstein thing. It's bloody good. It's huh. it's it's a lot more oddly light-hearted. Lovely. It 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 takes the Thor from the Avengers rather than the Thor from Thor movies. Okay. So it's lighter. It's brighter. It's it's more fun, and it 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 it, it plays a little bit of. What guys of the galaxy have been doing? Yeah, it, it's good. It's worth seeing if you like Marvel films. You really like this one. Um, I won't spoil it. Go watch it. Cool. Well, the one, the only thing I've really watched in the last week since we did this, yeah, uh, was Porridge, the old ones, and uh, it was last night with my parents. Mm-hmm. Once I got home from work, and uh, yeah, it was it was it was the real old school one, not Ronnie because Barker. Of, <coughs> yeah, because obviously, uh. They've been that they've they've restarted it. They're doing it with uh, someone you know who's playing his grandson, and they do a fanta- the new cast do a fantastic job. Um, but yeah, it was I watched the old one. I thought, oh, this is brilliant, and I, the thought occurred to me. And my parents both voiced it as well. Yeah. Um, we all sat there and went, nah, do you know what? Comedy's just not got the same feel anymore, and it hasn't because no. it, that, that's good old fashioned British comedy, and it can and get away with stuff that you probably can't get away. I mean, yeah. compared to Ronnie Barker, he largely kept things... Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Um, I haven't watched it, but is the magic there? Yeah, I think it is, you know. There's there's some there's some good stuff in there, man. The, the, the Think Blackadder, Old Red Dwarf. Um, yeah. You know, oh, what's, the, what's the other one? A uh, really big one. Got... John John Cle- John Cleese in it. I can't bloody remember. Forty Towers, that's one. Wow. Yeah, that th- th- is that standard of comedy. Okay. And it's good. It's nice to see the BBC. I mean, they're rehashing old stuff. Of course, they but are. it's nice to see the BBC making sitcoms. Yeah. Well, it's it's about not being funny. It's about time. It's yeah, about time we had something that wasn't reality TV. Also, I'm bored of. I mean, the BBC, to be fair, has had a great string of success with things like The Night Manager. And the doc, uh, Doctor Foster, yes, and stuff like that. I, I'm not interested in that stuff. I like comedy, okay. And the BBC, its beauty is that it provides for everybody. Yeah, very much so. Show me some funny shit, please. That's, yeah. a, that's all I want. Um, I think sometimes, honestly, sometimes Channel Four do a better job. Porridge, the 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 new porridge and the old, they do you some good, man. Good, I you'd enjoy do. them. Um. I'm going to talk, so talk very quickly about an audio book I'm listening to. Okay. It's called Blood, Sweat and Pixels. Okay. Um, it's on Audible. And obviously, you can actually buy the book if you're not a lazy uh. prick like me. I listen to it in the car, actually. I like listening to audio books in the car. Um, and so far, I have heard about the development of Stargy Valley. Okay. Wow, I've heard okay. about the development of um, uh, Diablo 3. I've heard about the development of Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh. I've heard about the development of... Um, uh, Halo Wars. Okay. There was another one right at the start. This game actually takes you into what it's like to develop a game. Is that that's the thing? Because all the ones you've just spoken about, I'm fair. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm fairly certain they're all uh, RTS style games, aren't they? Because uh, I know Dragon Age Inquisition is. It's not fully RTS, but it's S- RTS enough. Dodgy Valley isn't really. Oh, okay. Um, they talked about another one right at the start. Um, oh. But huh. yeah, it's yeah. a good it's a good book. It's a, I'd call it a good read, but it was a good listen. Um, and I always like it when the people reading the audiobooks are good 
Yeah. There's occasionally you get one that crap. Um, I think you'd enjoy this book. Uh, maybe I'll give you my audible login or something so yeah. you, can, uh, you can have a go on that. Oh, cheers, mate. Uh, also, <laughs> we... <laughs> I mean, again, if you haven't seen this, go and see it. Um, all I'll say is we very much enjoyed... The new Deadpool trailer. Yeah, we which did. Which is Bob Ross like. Bob Ross, bless him. He's been he's not been with us for a, a long time now. Proper stoner telly. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, it's <laughs> uh, it's watching a guy paint. Um, some happy little trees. Some happy little trees over there, uh, and just painting up. Um, did you know he was in the RAF? Not RAF, the American Air Force. Yeah, that's that surprised me, man. Um, he's a t- unusual dude. Um. I just love Bob Ross. And here's the thing. I have never smoked weed in my life. He's never done the marijuana. I've never done it. I have no objection to it. I want to make that clear. Like, uh, from what I've read, actually, it seems like it might actually be a good thing to do it occasionally. Um, I mean, I don't know. I've done enough research. I have no primary research to go off. No. But, so bear in mind, I'm I'm sober. I still love Bob Ross, man. I <laughs> used to watch him. <laughs> they blocked it now. I used to when they did the long Twitch twenty four hour streams. Oh yeah, I used to watch it at work. Oh god, it's just nice to look at every now and again. Like, what's he doing this time? At least in a landscape. Yeah, no shit. Um, but yeah, um, Bob Ross. I love Bob Ross. Have you just deleted my link out of the no, document? No, I haven't. I tried to move it up to my <laughs> taskbar and it didn't. <laughs> Look, not all of us can afford shiny new repaired Macs, all right? No, no, I could have so equally sh- done the same thing. I thought you just deleted it. So, uh, so fuck this story. Bye. So, <laughs> shut your cake hole, Mr. Willingham. No, I just thought you deleted it by accident. Shut your cake You're hole. very aggressive today, Chris. Are you all right? I'm tired, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm very, dude. very tired. You got, do you want to cuddle? No. I'm do you want right. to go to the pub? I, I don't know yet. Maybe. Want to go to the pub? Maybe. I'll buy you a pint. Maybe. I'll, look, we'll see how, how I feel <laughs> after this. I'll buy you a pint. Oh, anyway, <laughs> this is this is just a discussion we probably should be having after this. Um, we sound you, like an old man li- couple, mate. Would you like to read this last story or would you like me to read it? Would you mind if I read it? Please go ahead because I've already laughed at it. Thank you. <laughs> Man's furry after bag... <laughs> fury, sorry, not furry. Furry, he's a furry. <laughs> Man's fury after bagless Dyson arrives with 14 bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, a man was left fuming after he ordered two bagless Dyson vacuum cleaners that arrived with 14 plastic bags inside the packaging. Amazing. Phil Swift, 68, was so angry with the amount of packaging that he contacted his local council to ask them what he should do with it all. He said, they told me just to, um, they told me I had to put it in the bin. Oh, I love that. Mr. Well, Swift. Some, from, someone at a call has just gone, just yeah. put it in the bin. Yeah. Mr. Swift from Down End Bristol, Br- Bristol. Uh, brought the Dyson V8 Animal and Dyson V7, both cordless upright vacuum cleaners with multiple detachable Why parts. Why do you need two? I know, right? He said, each piece was individually wrapped in its own plastic bag. I thought, that's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I had to. Wow, people from Bristol are going to be pissed. Hey, I know, know people from they, Bristol. That's, that's how they sound. I rang South Gloucestershire Council to ask what, they, to what to do with it all, and they just told me to put it in the bin. What's going to happen to it now? Will it end up in a landfill? Will it end up in the sea? He added, "It's terrible. We're also we we're also told we have to cut down the amount of plastic we use." But he's a good example of where I didn't choose to end up with fourteen plastic bags, and I am now told I have to throw them away. Do you know what? I, do you know, I've just I've just done it. But the the Bristonian accent it makes me laugh because you just can't sound angry with it. No, you can't. And I'm I love it. Furious with you. Ooh, I'm really angry. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't. It, I just, uh, you know what? That story. Normally, we do story with a knob in it, but I thought, you know what? I, I was. I You're was, the one who picks them, man. I was, yeah. I was just assembling. It's always the metro. That one's in the metro. Yeah. Anyway. And so was last week's and the weeks before and the weeks before. Metro is just a great source for this utter bollocks. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was funny, and it's also a state of things because I'm not going to be funny when you buy something. Yes. The unboxing experience is very important now. It is very much so. And you can smash iPhones and Apple products all you like, but unboxing them is very nice. It's a I'm nice, sure it is. It's like a ceremony. Um, <laughs> and the waste all I can think is the ceremony music from Star Wars. <laughs> and the the waste is actually fairly minimal. It pisses me off. Like this guy, when I buy something, like uh, this audio interface, just came in so many bags. and It's already in a box. Also, also... People are buying onions at the supermarket, putting them in a bag. They have a skin. 
Yeah, but that's because they don't want to get them damaged because the skin on an onion, I don't know whether you noticed, isn't particularly thick. So it's a plastic bag. Yeah, but it adds more protection, doesn't it? Better just put it in a condom. Um, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Makes them nice and slippery. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'll make your eyes water. Yeah, um, just... <laughs> It's really the best joke I've done yeah. in this whole show. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. It is. So, um, do you want to go? Is, is your dad got one this week? No, oh, unfortunately not. Mate. Shame. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, just speaking of the plastic bag thing, what? Why does packaging have to be so wasteful? Can't it just come in cardboard where it can be recycled? Probably not, mate. Probably they're, they're, not. They're, they're, they're not being funny. People make the plastic bags. They ship out the plastic plastic bags. They probably it's 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 money, mate. Money. I don't know, man. It just seems like a bad thing. Um, but speaking speaking of environmentalism gone wrong, I saw <laughs> I saw a car sticker today, and g- genuinely saw it today okay. on the back of a Skoda Roomster, which is like, ugh. but um, it was it was a sticker that said "powered by recycled dinosaurs," <laughs> and I just thought, oh my god, that is actually quite that's quite funny. Powered by recyclable dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, um. Is 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 your turn to name the episode this week, mate? Oh God, um, ten, <sighs> nine, pressure, eight. You know what? I'm going to go seven. for saying clickbaity. Oh, okay. Again. I'm going to go for all caps. Okay. <laughs> EA loot box controversy exclamation mark. I'm going clickbaity this week. Fuck it. I can't spell so. That whatever I'll just have to do. Google will correct it. Of course it will. There you go. Uh, uh, so, so I take it you want to do it all in one, yeah? No, I'm going to separate. Oh, right, okay. If we're going for the <laughs> clickbait, why not? Um, okay. With all that said, um, you can find us on the Insta. Tell us about that. You can find us on Instagram by going to on well onto the Instagram app uh, and looking for Curious Crow Productions. You can Woo-hoo. also do the same on Facebook, and the we face. are there. Um, obviously, we have the YouTube channel as well, uh, yeah, which yeah, 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 uh, yeah. with a full archive of all the podcasts that we've done, 21 of them. Um, <laughs> they are up there for free and they always will be. Exactly. Uh, you can also listen to us on the... I, I Is it... Apple Podcast Apple app. Apple Podcast app. I always get... I'm, do you know what? I'm using an iPhone and I still don't know. Um, have you tried the app? Yeah, I have and it it, it hates my phone. Oh. Well, um, yeah. It generally detests my phone. All right. But no, it's... So yeah, come give us a listen. Uh, listen to you. But as well, if you are into your games... Uh, and you are you miss, looking for some... You missed SoundCloud. Oh, did I? Oh, dear. Go to SoundCloud. Anyway, go, go to SoundCloud. Plug. Yeah. Give well, us yeah, money. No, if, uh, if you like games, if you fancy maybe even purchasing some games on Steam, uh, and then letting us know we we could all play together, it'd be great. Yeah. Um, go to Kingwing for specifically like uh, different priced games on a discount. Project Cars um, 2 is under 30 quid now. Uh, do you know what? You're going to have to look up for another another game. Mate, That's my people, metric. That's pe- my metric. People, people don't care about the cars as much as you, mate. Except maybe it's Jeremy just, Clarkson, the but then again, you two are pretty much the same. Jeremy uh, Clarkson. The, the only reason <laughs> I mentioned that one is because I've mentioned it before. So yeah. I'm trying to... It, it's I going know. down in price again. Yeah, probably a reason for that. Um, but yeah, no. So go to www.kingwing.net and have a look through and let us know. Well, and actually, also, if once you do purchase the game, um, a little bit does come towards the production. Yep, uh, towards us, uh, so that we are able to provide you guys with more content, with newer games that obviously we're able to get because you guys are helping us out just as much as you know you're going to love those games yeah so if, if you want to give us some of that money actually click the link in the description yes you have to go through that link uh, otherwise we don't get nothing so true go to the link in the description below this video or in the description for the podcast yeah um d- do that because uh, as chris said we're not paid by them, we're not sponsored by them. we just get a little bit back yeah exactly and um, we can use that uh, actually it's not just game credit I think is I it not we could actually have money if we wanted oh, to and seeing as well as YouTube have we used to have a few videos monetized. yeah we did um, YouTube put a stop to that because yeah. our channel was not big enough basically um, which kind of sucks so but oh well wa- watch all our videos as many times as possible please so we can get that back yeah, we, 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 we weren't getting anything anyway no. really but that, we we what was it 11p yeah but we want to be able to yeah, one hundred percent. But th- th- that's the thing as well, because I mean, if if you do go to King Wing and you do purchase the game, and we get that little bit of money, um, if if I have a say, we'll be playing Astroneer because I love that game. <laughs> I, I want to play Astroneer, Martin. 
Martin, buy me Astroneer. No. Pla- buy me Astroneer. No. Ba- buy me Astroneer. Uh, that's it from us this week. Um, Indeed it is. We shall see you next time on the Curious Code Podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.